In this YouTube video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite plays in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never seen any of my videos before, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day here on YouTube that are designed to help you get better at Madden. And we do that through breaking down both pro players as well as different things that I find on myself. And so if you haven't already subscribed, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys. So I'm really, really excited to share this uh, with you guys. This is just a simple play. It's one of the most simple routes um, or plays to beat man coverage in the game, and it's this PA Pats cross. And I want to share it with you um, through the lens of how it can help you beat press man. A lot of us are dealing with press man coverage, and so I'm going to show you how you can use this play to basically help you beat the press man. The biggest thing that you really need to know about this formation, U trips, and why it's so effective, is when you motion a receiver here from right to left. What is going to happen is it is basically always going to create this little movement right here from the slot. You see that little movement right there? With that movement, we can snap the ball right there. And as you see there, have that nice little free release and outside leverage to be able to throw that little quick out route from PA Pat's cross. Now, what's really, really nice about this is let's say that they are running some type of zone coverage, like a cover three sky. And I just want to kind of share with you a little bit of what's going to happen here. Number one, you're going to be able to hit your slot little corner route uh, or little quick route right there as well. But the other thing that you'll notice is this out route actually does a really good job against zone just as much as it does a really good job against man. Now, if you want to get the full U Trips offensive scheme, I would highly encourage you to basically just text me. Uh, my phone number is in the description. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But just text me, and I'll shoot you a playlist that has several full schemes, both offense and defense. We actually add a new scheme to that playlist every single week for you guys. But we'll also include this Pats Y Off Trips Pats uh, formation, which is one of my favorites, probably my favorite offense in the entire game. Now, that being said, if you want to get my full New England ebook, the link is in the description. But I want to continue to break down this play a little bit and show you why this is one of the best man beaters and man beating concepts in the entire game. So, another thing that you can do um, to beat man to man coverage is you can basically run these motion slant routes. And so, basically, all I do is put Chris Godwin on a slant. And what you'll notice is I'm going to have pretty much instant inside leverage as well. It kind of works both ways. You get both outside and inside leverage on those receivers because, and this is man aligned, this is man aligned, man to man coverage um, that you're watching me utilize. And you're noticing that the leverage point for these, basically these animations, are really going to help out a ton with how the defenders react or don't react in man-to-man -man coverage. Now again, the beauty of this play, PA Pat's Cross, is another thing that you have with this is you have a nice deep dig route to Mike Evans. And so what's very likely to happen is they're going to probably go user that slant route. And what will happen is in behind that will typically allow this dig route to be wide open. Now one of the things you have to watch is if they are if they win that press animation, they might have a little bit better of a time doing that. One last little thing on this route to Godwin here. You'll notice that I can kind of create a natural pick and rub between these two receivers as well if I wanted to create that element um, within my play. But last but not least, guys, the last thing that you have the opportunity to create, especially if you have like a hot route master, is within this play we could put Mike Evans on a post route. We could put a delay fade out there. We could have this route to Leonard Fournette. And then what you'll notice here is this thing can really start to beat man-to-man -man coverage because we could also roll out and release our tight end. Um, on the delay fade, I'll show you. The, I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. But when you have this this ability, another thing that you can also do, and this is something that I don't talk about a ton, but something that a lot of pro players are really using at a very high level, and that's a simply to put Mike Evans on like an out route or just an underneath flat route, and then to take Chris Goblin because you have Hot Route Master and you can put him on a crossing route. If you have slot apprentice, you can do this as well. Watch this slot route. This crossing route is one of the best man beaters in the entire game. And one of the things I want to highlight about this is, again, remember, we got that inside leverage. So this route can do that for you. And what I like to do with this is I actually like to go ahead and streak Mike Evans, put the flat route or the quick out to the tight end, and then have this crossing route just like this. I think this makes a lot more sense in terms of the whole play and the way that it works. And as you see here, the... You, you just get such good separation to Chris Godwin. What this allows your offense to be able to do is now you have high lows on both sides. 
And even further than that, what you can also do is you can put your because you have Hot Route Master, you can do so much with with your running back. You could put him on a ghost route. You could put him on really anything that you wanted to. But this crossing route, as you see there, gets really really good separation against man coverage. So now you have two routes that are going to be able to do that. And if you wanted to, what you could also do is you could put Mike Evans on a curl route if you wanted to do that as well and basically low ball and an aggressive catch those curl routes on the outside as a check down read and it basically what it'll do is it'll get under the crossing route so that you don't really have to worry about that so these are a couple of little universal man beating concepts really wanted to show you the principle is basically to simply have an out breaking pattern on the left side receiver and an in-breaking pattern on the slot receiver, and when you motion them over, this creates a nice little element. Another example of this would be to take Antonio Brown, put him on a corner route, put Chris Godwin on that crossing route, and once again, you'll see kind of the same effect. You'll notice that this corner route to Antonio Brown should get wide open because he has outside leverage, and then the crossing route should get wide open against the defense on the backside because he has he has inside leverage. So that's really what I mean when I talk about leverage and the importance of that um, as it pertains to this. And as you can see right here, this cross you out again, snap right about there. And that, that motion snap is really, really good. You see it gets over a lot of zone drops. Um, it gets most zone drops that'll actually get over them. So that's another great feature of this play. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the whole scheme, the link is in the description. And if you want to get the uh, text message video that has about an hour breakdown on this offense, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My phone number is 812-216-3644. I also want to invite you to our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time where we play Madden live with our members. Make sure to text me, and if you want to get the full ebook on the New England offense, that link is in the description of this video.